Hello friends, quick question. When a partner sends engineering documents, do you treat them as safe by default? Today I will show why clean does not always mean safe and how Opsword Deep CDR strips dangerous macros and scripts while keeping docs readable. Last time we stopped malware in payload and vulnerable but clean packages. This time it's the dog side. Word and Excel file that look fine but carry active control. What we will do is we are going to create two harmless macro files and let Opsword Deep CDR remove the risk. No witchcraft, just a clean rebuild. All right, so we are back here and this is my favorite part of the overall video or the tutorial is the lab environment. So you can see that I'm using Opsword Meta Defender Core in the local uh, machine in my you know computer in here. And uh, before I get into the actual test file, lab file, let's quickly jump into the um, you know configuration of the deep CDR. So when you go to the deep CDR, you will see that this is active here at the moment, and I'm using a very basic configuration. So let's let me quickly show you that what I am as per my policy, what I'm doing. So handling, how am I handling the files? Let's say what file I'm giving the instructions that please remove all the macros and re remove embedded objects, XML, etc., etc. You can play around with the policy. Again, it all depends on your organization policy. You can leave, leave the metadata or you can simply remove the metadata. Anyway, so one more important thing uh, for you to notice here is the file type. So Opsa uh, Meta Defender Core can scan, can work with several file types. Uh, so e even within Office, you will see that uh, different file types or extensions, uh, doc, you know, a plain simple doc file or even a doc file with macro enabled. All right, so we have the configuration is done. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you the left file real quick. Uh, in here, you'll see that I have cre created several test files here. And one of the important text file is the test file two, which I'm going to use. And uh, test file one, which is the Excel file. Both of these are macro enabled. And let me show you what uh, do I mean by that. So this is a, a you know, typical, a uh, very common, you know, uh, file, uh, word file. And you will see that is a, the script is executed. Now in, 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 in our case, it's, it is harmless. It is not going to do anything. However, this is an active uh, script to throw Visual Basic and you know, part of the macro. Uh, so for example, you are getting an engineering file and you will see that there is a macro and that macro is definitely you know, dangerous if you don't uh, scan it properly. Uh, this is not a malicious file. It, it's, it's not a virus or something. That's why your multi-scanning, your AV engines uh, will not flag it. However, what if somebody is running a malicious code within part of the macro and then that malicious code will open door for the attackers like a you know a back channel or back door and anything like that so you will see that there is a macro in here and uh, similarly let me go uh, go back and show you the excel file the excel file is uh, you know just like the word file excel file is also macro enabled and uh, just consider this is your engineering file some you know your your trusted vendor your partner has shared this file and what you can see uh, when you go here you will see the macro let's say i'm going to show you the code actual code in here you will see that i have used the visual basic and i'm running a very basic command here just to uh, show a pop-up window and however you know just think about it the hackers they uh, may, they can easily make it a malicious file. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scan both of these. And uh, so here you see that I just ran the macro. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to scan these both of these files through MD Core, um, you know, and then let's see if we get the clean version or not. Let's quickly go and uh, start scanning. I'm using the GUI to do that. You can use, um, you know, emails, gateway, kiosk uh, you can simply scan your usbs or you know icap uh, so that it uh, scans files uh, even when the files are traveling here and there all right so what i'm going to do now i'm going to quickly show you the results from the history which i have already scanned both of these so you will see for example this file 
it has removed one macro and again as said earlier that it is not a malicious file so the av engines are saying no threat detected it's not a vulnerability so that is all clean uh sorry so it's not configured anyway uh vulnerability assessment you see that no vulnerability found uh so deep cdr it says that it's, it is removed macro and we, we can simply download the sanitized file when i click on this it's gonna start downloading sanitized file and you can see in here similarly uh, when i go i can simple simply test the you know here you can see that it's uh, it has removed one macro from the word file and again um, we can download the uh, sanitized file what ops what deep cdr does basically as i said earlier it uh, breaks it breaks it down and takes you know and takes out the bad things bad macros uh from the file and then reconstruct or rebuild the file in a way that is reusable not just reusable it is usable and your user you know and any user should not feel that anything happened in the back end you know so the end goal is that the end users are getting clean file so um let's quickly uh, you know show you uh, the cleans files in, in here let me open this one and the other one now all right so our file is here now no alert nothing let's check uh, the macro is it there or not oops let's see macros all right all right gone no macro great now let's check the excel file here you can see that this file name of, of course you can use your own file name structure but this is the sanitized file and let's quickly check the macro in here again and there you go no macro bravo perfect so the users the end users they are well protected because md code has cleaned all the macros and although in our example we haven't used any bad or malware or any other script that you know exploit any vulnerability in the given operating system however think about in the real world attackers this is a common you know attacking vector they use macro enabled files whether it's pdf uh word file or excel file or any other file type and then they attack and your false first line of you know defense usually the av engines or malware analysis these technologies cannot fully protect you from the you know the attacks where the macros or you know uh you know techniques such as the uh, you know this one being used by the attackers anyway that's why defense in depth av engines multi-scanning perfect bravo uh, you know file vulnerability assessment bravo let's do it let's not forget the dlp and deep cdr we have just uh, you know we have just seen how deep affected the deep cdr is Maybe in the next video, I will show you how to use uh, deep CDR, uh, you know, along with DLP, multi-scanning and file-based vulnerability assessment to, to truly create, uh, a, you know, a secure environment or a defense in depth, you know, um, approach. Put deep CDR at uh, ingress, such as email, portals, partner shares and USB intake alongside multi-scanning and at staging such as SMB, SharePoint or Cloud, auto-sanitize and rescan on change. Now before deployment, only publish sanitized docs. Docs can be clean and is still dangerous. DeepCDR removes the tricks, macros, scripts, embedded objects, so your team can read safely. Pair it with multi-scanning and FBVA for real defense in depth approach. Lab steps are in the description of the video. For guided practice, go check out OpsorAcademy.com and if you want to learn more about Opsor product, follow the links given in the description of this video. See you in the next one. Take care.